First off, everybody from Chicago, hands up and go, woo! Woo! Yay, Chicago! Okay. Is Brian here? Oh. <laughs> Close enough? I don't care. Okay, I have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. Uh, number one, who uses ACK? Who doesn't know what ACK is yet? ACK is the all singing, all dancing, pure Perl rec replacement. Who uses Windows and does Perl programming? You want ACK. ACK is your best friend in the whole world. Uh, ACK does, is, is basically grep for huge directory trees and source code. Um, it's all in Perl. It's all available here at pedpans.com slash ACK. You can also install it from the CPAN. Uh, some of the things that you can do with ACK. Well, first off, Parrot people. Everybody in Parrot loves ACK because ACK, a parent, the Parrot project has so many different file types all grouped together that it all, uh, that to be able to pick out C code versus Perl code versus Tickle code is amazing. So, um, so it's pure Perl. Uh, it ignores things like your .svn directories or your CBS directories. All you SVK people who say, well, we don't have SVK directories, I don't care. <laughs> ACK will grep for your pattern without having to do this crap. ACK ignores your BLOB directories, ACK ignores your backup directories, binary files, core dumps, anything you wouldn't actually want to grep for. Let's you specify the type of the file that you have. So you can say app dash dash Perl in a pattern and only get the Perl programs. The, my little beepy thing here is my next topic. App will also, it, as part of its file finding, will you have the app dash f which says, look, I'm going to take all the Perl files here and dump them into a list. So if you're if you've suffered through having to build huge long find calls, use app. Uh, it does Perl, it does honest to God Perl regular expressions. Uh, it's, it's, and most importantly, the command name is 25% shorter than Grep. So, <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, it has <laughs> the <laughs> option. <laughs> okay, so that's number one. Okay, I've started a website called Pearl101.org, which is everything that every programmer should know. How many people have ever been at IRC and been asked a really dumb question by a dude? How many people, of course, say, oh, well, that's in the fact, but of course the noobs don't read the fact. The goal here of Pearl101.org is to have the things that you should know to be a reasonably competent Pearl programmer. How do you take the length of a list? Noobs don't know that. I'm trying to build this up and I need your help. So what I'd like you to do is to go through the page here, pick a page and just send me, say, hey, how about this? Just send me the question and it's always in assertion format. Do this this way. How do you combine hashes? Here's how you do it. It's kind of like a fact, but it's also sort of like, here's the condensed cheat sheet version that you can point people to. So please go and uh, both point people to it and add to it yourself. Number three, Google code kicks SourceForge's ass. If you have anything, if you've ever had a project that you thought about putting out and you want to have a public repository and you go, you know what, SourceForge is really a pain to use, please go use Google code. Google Code gives you uh, source for, it gives you, <laughs> Google Code gives you, <laughs> how dumb could I be? <laughs> it gives you a decent bug tracker because we all know the source for it. bug tracker sucks. <laughs> Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I 
Everyone from Chicago, please help beat up Pete. <laughs> anyway, please go use SourceForge. It rocks. I love it. Or not SourceForge. <laughs> now, for some of you, this is a rerun. For some of you, it's not. devoted to computing professionals right here, right on with Ruby, this open source scripting tool can help automate web services. Imagine, a lowly scripting language like Ruby could help a real language, probably Java. I say that we, as scripting languages, must not be left in the margins. Yeah! Yeah. 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 <laughs> this, just because it would take a hundred lines of C code or Java code to just load the libraries, <laughs> doesn't mean that we are any less of a programming language. Right on. No, bro. We need to throw <laughs> off the chains of the marginalizing language. Is this a book about a scripting language? No. No. Higher Order Pearl is about functional programming techniques. Instead of get, writing the complete program yourself, you get the program, the computer to do it for you. Would this book ever exist? <laughs> <laughs> Pearl is a programming language. We are compiled. <laughs> what? We're compiled like Java. We just compile a lot faster. We have objects. We have namespaces, unlike some scripting languages like PHP. We have modules, we have closures, we have debuggers, we have profilers, we have IDEs, we have people who offer training, we have support, we have a hell of a community right here in this room, we have frameworks, we have more frameworks, Lord Almighty, than we have <laughs> We are not just the web, we are not just sysadmin, we are not just the duct tape of the internet, although we're very good at it. I want you to proclaim it. I want you to stop saying script. No. We want you to say program. When you write a, t, a .t file for your tests, it's not a test script. It is a test program. Everything that you write in Perl is a program. Yes, yes. I want you to keep, I want you to not give in to the people who think that Perl is less of a language because it is a scripting language. Call it a dynamic language if you must. Stop saying script. No. Thank you. <laughs>